Yes, I have my guest here. No, uh, Dr. Verant Satchel, Senior Lecturer in the Department of History and Economics Historian of the 18th and 19th Century. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? Hi, how are you doing, Jerry? Is this the same Dr. Satchel that I know from a longer time? Same, 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 same one. Same one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to... We go way back, don't we? Yeah, man, I used to teach uh, my about five of my children kids, at, yeah. Hope, at Hope Valley in, Hope Valley in the 70s. In the 70s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so good to have you here at the beginning of History Month, you know? Indeed, indeed, indeed. And one of the conveniences for me is that apart from being um, an economic historian, mm -hmm. you also specialize in landscape history and other, yeah. and other things, um, and other things um, pertaining to land. Yeah. I would like you to... To help explain to people that um, the the lands department, yeah. which a lot of people believe is was organized to give them land, <laughs> was really organized to take away back land from the people who had escaped out of who, who, who had emerged out of slave enslavement. Yes. Okay. We have to go way back to see how. The, the discussion we had a while ago with the with the caller, um, this um, this uh, communism versus democracy. Yes. Um, and you asked the question, which one came first? And you rightly answered that um, if you go back to biblical view, yeah, yes. then communalism. Yes, yes. But we can go even further than that yes. because the earliest settlers. Uh, the earliest natives of any land yes. lived in community. Yes. And they everything are, was equally owned. Yes, and the word s that yeah. Yeah. And the word settle means you stop. Instead of you walk up and down, you stop and start living. You live stop. Up. You, you start yeah, live you one come, place. You become a sedentary, a sedentary life in which you are going to be... By the way, I'm um, right here. Yes, sir, you were explaining that the lands department was not established to let us have lands but to take away back lands from, yes from let us. me just go way back i'll just show you oh yeah no no sorry you were explaining about coming um coming right. after people got settled was, settled to go a bit back yes, yes sir to the earliest days in the early days of the kinos no uh, no you remember you were explaining about what the previous caller said about yes the set, communalism set, and, set, and that yeah. i'm going back to oh that sorry now. i'm so sorry that the communalism yeah. was the first means whereby people settled and lived in communities and um, feeding themselves and everything was owned equally by all um whatever they got and everybody had rights to the land use of rights to the land yes no with the coming of european colonialism yes all the land was taken away from the people yes the titles yes. in the jamaican case yes and it was engrossed in the crown and then the crown would what be the, what make people know what you call the crown all right the the, 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 the king and queen of spain yes so they owned all so what all. you do when you steal something you stamp on your stamp on it yes. you stamp yes. on a crown on it and yes. claim that it is your own it is, right. these are the proceeds of crime yes and what you have then was the first the start of a system in which um, land was privately owned. And the sad part of it is that it was owned by one person, or one, one entity. Yeah. And that entity had the right to distribute it to whomsoever it feel, felt like. Yeah. And it so happened that these were given out in small, in large parcels. So for example, um, Columbus came to one the entire island. Yes. Yeah. Right, and then later on, he it was further subdivided that about eight or nine persons owned the entire island. Yes. Now, that was the situation when the English game they continued the same pattern of land distribution. Yes. So the vast majority owned, like for example, just to give a quick example, in the Hope area where we live here, one man who came with the, with the army, Major Richard Hope, yes. he claimed over nearly 3,000 acres of land. Yes. And that remained in his family up until 1914. Yes. Almost over 200 years. Then, now, then now hold on. One, one other big owner mm -hmm. named Ellison. That's the same man. That's the same. Yes, same family. Same family. And then yes. now him claim a whole heap including what I'm called Ellison Flat now. Th that is part of the whole plan. And then that, now, is the, that is part of the whole plan. That uh, uh, yes. His Ellison Hope. Yes. And, 
And when him start to export things, him build a road from him land. No, well, on a, him build a road from him land right down to the wharf where he right. ship, where he ships them take the, take out the goods from right. Jamaica and Perfectly correct. Perfectly and the, the 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 land run right down Hope Road and run right through the army camp where them call right. park camp. And run right through like really um like where you find all for the past Arnold Road there. Right. And run Ellison Road, go right down right. to the wharf. That's correct. And they own the way down, you know, what is yeah. to be a very town. That was where the wharf was. Yeah. So you get an idea of what the situation is. And so you had a number of larger states. Uh, of course you had persons who owned small pieces. Um like um and many of them were white. Then later on you had colours well, you know you know how the colors came about white black relationship yeah. and many of them are different portions of land now after emancipation um, and jamaica sugar industry started declining you had a number of persons who oh, black now started gaining access to land the, the, the black started, started get gaining access, access to, to land, land. Yeah. persons let me just get a bit to say that during slavery, 85% of the persons who owned the land in Jamaica, the large landowners, lived abroad. Yeah. The estates were run by attorneys. Attorney, attorney. attorney, yes. Yes. They're not really lawyers, but persons no, no. who oversaw the property. Yeah, and, let, let, and they acted. They had power of attorney to act on their own. Yeah. yeah. Let, let. So, um, I was saying that many of these persons who owned land lived abroad and they left it in the care of their overseers and attorneys. Now, with the decline of the sugar industry, many of, and many of those persons who owned land in, and lived in England became bankrupt. They neglected their properties in Jamaica. Now, let me say quickly that many of those overseers and others, normally white persons, claimed these lands that they didn't own as their own. And the sad part of it is that they began to sell off these lands in small portions to to um, the black population. You get what I'm driving at? Yeah. They stole the land, you could say. They caught it on the land. And they now, in turn, sold off small pieces. And what they gave to those poor, unsuspecting blacks, not knowing that they weren't the owners, was just a receipt. And you know that a receipt is not contestable in court. But with that land distribution, you had the growth of a peasantry right through Jamaica. Peasantry mean people who are atta people who attached to land. Small, small land people who are attached to land. Yes, and they are planting. And we must, I must mention that they were not subsistence farmers. They were persons producing a surplus for the market. Yes, subsistence farmer means just man who eat to, planting yeah, but, to eat, planting yeah, to eat. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but the non subsistence farmer is producing surplus that. Yes. Yeah. When him, finish, when him finish eating, sell and have a profit. Right. Can buy, for, bur, buy furniture. Exactly. And that was the main strategy of the Jamaican economy. However, um, what happened later on is that persons started surveying land in about the 1850s, 1860s, the rightful owners, and they were displacing black family. And that was the reason for the more, one of the reasons for the more the uprising. Yeah. Because the persons in St. Thomas are not started to make about those in St. Thomas were being um, 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 ejected from their land. Land that they had bought, but they had their receipt to show up for it, and land that they had farmed and also sustained in their family. And they objected to it and they marched to, you know, to Spanish Town. They lodged complaints and nothing came. In fact, when they marched from Stony Goat in St. Thomas, could be about over 78 miles to yeah. Spanish Town to talk to the, the governor, Governor Ayer. He never even met them. No, hear me now. Mm -hmm. no, no, today is very topical. And I, I like to use, um, you know, simpler things to let people understand. Because they want the value of history to me is so that it can help me to, so man to maneuver that. life better. Right. Now, today is very topical because today the Governor General will swear in the latest Costas. Yes. And in those times, the people of St. Thomas and Morant Bay were, yes. up, were up against JPs and Custodies yes. and these people who, apart from owning land, mm -hmm. they also were the people trying cases. And you have all right. JP. JP would try case and, and make winnings in his own personal favor. Custodies are the custos them right. would do the same thing, helping to take away land from exactly. people. 
Exactly. And uh, yeah. and then when you march to the head costos. Right. 